In this lesson, we are going to look at how to factorize using a technique called grouping. So we've looked at in the past, we've looked at things like x squared take away 3x take away 4, and we've called that a trinomial. And we've looked at how to factorize that. We've looked at things like this, where we have a difference of squares, and we've learned how to factorize that. But now we're going to look at four terms. So for example, x4, well, no, it doesn't have to be a 4. Um, for example, you could have like um, x3 plus x plus, um, you know, like 2x squared plus 4 or something like that. So it's typically going to be four terms. So it's not a difference of square and it's not a trinomial. And we're going to use a process called grouping. And I'm going to show you that in this lesson. So here's our first example. So what you do, you realize that there's four terms. Is there a common factor? Well, no, there's nothing that you could take out of all four of those. So then we're going to use grouping. So what does grouping mean? Well, the word group means to put stuff in groups. So what I would advise is put the first two in a group, okay? So we'll put them together in a bracket and then put the second two in a group like that. Then I want you to factorize that first group. So you see there's a common factor of three. And then this one has a P3 and this one has a P2. So you could take out a P2. Then what would you be left with? Well, you'd be left with 3P over there plus and then 1. Okay, now you do the next group. So the next group you could take out a 5. And then what would you be left with? Well, you'd be left with a 3P plus 1. Now, if these two are, are the same, then you have grouped correctly. If they are not the same, then you have to group it in a different way. Then you might have to group these two together and those two together. Or maybe you need to group, yeah, I mean, that's the only other option. Or maybe these two together and those two together. So you've got to keep going until you can make these two brackets the same. If they're the same, then you've done the correct grouping. So what you do in the next step now is you realize that this is common in both. So you take that out as a common factor. And then what would you be left with? Well, in the first part, you'd be left with 3p squared. And in the second part, you'd be left with a 5. And there's your answer. Here's our next example. So I always like to start by just grouping the first two. And then I group the second two. So for the first two, there's definitely a common factor of 4. And then here there's a v3. And here there's a v2. So we can definitely take out a v2. And so what we'd be left with is over here you'd be left with a v and over here you'd be left with 4. Then for the next part you can take out a common factor of 3 and then you'd be left with v plus 4. So if these two are the same then we've chosen correctly so then in the next step you would go take out that as a common factor so v plus 4 and then what are you left with? Well here you're left with that and then here you're left with that and there we are done with that question. Okay, so here with this one, I'm gonna try take this first part together and then I'm gonna take this part together. So um, the only common factor with this part would be there's an A. So we take out an A and then you're left with 6Z take away 5H squared. And then in the next part, there's a common factor of six. Okay, you could take out a six and you could take out a B. And then you would be left with 6z, if you had to take it out of there, take away 5, and then h squared. Ah, so it works. Check that out. Those are the same. So then in the next step, you just go take them out as a common factor. And then you're left with a plus 6b. So here with this one, if you try to take these two together, and you take those two together, what you'll realize is that this actually won't work. The reason is, is that there is no common factor between those two. Okay, so then what happens is we could maybe try to take this one and this one, and this one and this one. Let me just do that a bit better, this one and that one. So I'm actually gonna rewrite this. So we're gonna put the 5xy first, and then the 15x4 next, and then the 3mx3 next, and then the my. So now I'm gonna group these two together, and I'm gonna group those two together. So I'm gonna take out a common factor here of 5x. I can take out a 5x, because five and five can go into both of those, and then this one has one x, this one has four, so we can at least take out one x. Then what we'd be left with is a y 
plus 3x3. Then for the next part, we could take out a m, and you'd be left with 3x3 add y. Now when you plus, the order does not matter at all. So you can decide to rewrite one of these the other way around. So I'm going to rewrite this one the other way around, so it's going to look like this. Because when you plus, order doesn't matter. For example, 2 plus 3, 5. 3 plus 2, it's also 5. So let's write this like this, and then like that. And so now what we do is we take out a common factor of that, and then we're left with 5x plus m. Here's our next example. So straight away, I would not group these two together because there is nothing common there. You can't take out a common number. There's no common letters. It's just not going to work. So I would then go for those two, and then I'd go for those two. And so I'm going to rewrite everything so long. So 20xy take away 12xr. Then I'm going to put the um, this one first and then the 3r squared. I just don't like having a random negative like that. So that, that should work. So we're going to just group those two and those two. Okay, so if we take out a common factor over here, what number can go into 12 and 20? Uh, the number 4. And then this one has 1x and this one has 1x, so we could definitely take out that. And that's it. So we would be left with a 5y take away 3r. Okay, now in this next one, there's no number that can be taken out, but we can take out an r. Oh, no, not a y. We could take out, there's one r there and there's two there, so we could definitely take out one. And then you'd be left with 5y take away 3r. Ah, look at that. It's the same. And so then you can take that out in the front as a common factor, and then you'd be left with 4x add r.